It's another morning at Houston High, home of the Mustangs and HNN News. Whether it's the locker room or the classroom, Houston News Network is there. Your go-to source for all high school headlines. HNN News starts now. Happy Veterans Day, Mustangs. I'm Ben Pickett. And I'm William Johnson. And these are your morning announcements for Friday, November 11th. Attention seniors, it's not too late to order your graduation announcements and accessories. The Balfour representative will be on campus for the last time on Wednesday, November 16th, during all lunches in the main lobby for students to turn in their orders. A minimum of $60 is required to place an order. Wednesday is the final deadline to place your order for the grad supplies. If you have any questions, please call, please call the Balfour Company at 901-759-0116. Due to the football game tonight, the HHS Mustang Theater will present Much Ado About Nothing starting Saturday through Monday, November 14th. Student tickets are $10, cash or card payments accepted at door, or you can buy them online at fan.co. Enjoy. The HHS yearbook is on sale now. Go to School Cash Online to make your purchase of the Mustang Spirit yearbook. The price is $90 and includes a personalized nameplate. Prices go up after Thanksgiving break, so buy yours today. If you signed up to be a horsepower girl and you have not signed up to work the tournament this we weekend, please see Miss Little or Coach Shirley for details. Also, all students, if you're interested in volunteering to work the Houston Wrestling Tournament this Saturday, please see Hillary Little in room M251. Any volunteers will receive service hours for the time and a black horse t-shirt. Are you interested in making handmade knit and crochet pieces? Houston's Knit and Crochet Club will be selling many of their items during all lunches, and there's a big selection from fall attire to mini crocheted octopi. So make sure to bring cash and support Houston's Knit and Crochet Club. Southwest Tennessee Community College will be in the College and Career Office from 10 to 11 on Tuesday, November 15th, to help seniors com complete the college application process. Any senior planning on attending Southwest next year should register in Naviance for this college visit. The Tennessee Promise Scholarship covers the total cost of tuition and fees for Southwest. Members of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes who have paid through School Cash Online can pick up their club t-shirts in Mr. Perry's room, M129. h and News will be right back after this quick commercial break. Next week is National Hunger and Homelessness Awareness Week, so Houston SGA is hosting a canned food drive all week. Bring in your canned goods to the lobby in the mornings before school all next week. Donated canned goods will go to St. Mary's Soup Kitchen in downtown Memphis. And donations will also be a part of Class Wars, so make sure to donate. Juniors and seniors, a lot of colleges and universities will be visiting Houston soon. Here's a look at the lineup for the coming weeks. All visits will take place either in the main lobby during all lunches or in the college office. Sign up for college visits in Naviance. Last week, Houston opened up the playoffs with a 27-10 victory over Independence. Now it's round two, and it's our crosstown rival who's back for another beatdown. Houston versus Germantown, tonight at 7. Be there. Welcome back. Now it's time for the H&N News Word Power Word of the Day. Today's word of the day is inoculate, a verb meaning to vaccinate against a disease. As in, the travelers to the South American jungles were inoculated two weeks before their trip. Try using it today. Students and teachers, will you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Now, in accordance with the laws of the state of Tennessee, we will observe a moment of silence.
Well, that's it for this Veterans Day, Mustangs. Take some reflection time today to think about everything U.S. veterans have done for you. We'll see you at the game tonight and be back with you bright and early Monday morning.